Hey what's up guys, so today I have another gimbal to review. I've done a lot of gimbal reviews in the past so what I'm going to do is add this to a playlist of all the gimbals and I'll leave that in the description below. So today I've got this brand new gimbal, it's just come out, it's called the Smart XR. Now this is from a company called Aochuan, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's brand new, it is made in China, it's a 3 axis pocket sized gimbal and I'm going to be giving you a full unboxing, a setup of all the different functionalities and specs that this thing has and then also show you a lot of sample footage of the capabilities of this gimbal. So the video might be quite long, go ahead and look at the chapters in the timeline and in the description as well so you can scrub through and go to the relevant ones if you'd like. Otherwise, let's go ahead, do all of the stuff and let's get straight into it. So it's a very nice clean box. You can see the tagline is just love. You've got some highlights of the specs there. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so you have yourself a user guide. You have yourself the gimbal there as well. Just take a look at that. Very nice design, very clean. Let's take that out. I'll show you that in a second. You also have a USB-C charging cable. Now this is a 32 milliamp hour battery inside that, which gives you roughly around eight hours of runtime, which I think is awesome. You also have a strap as well, if you wanted to connect that to the gimbal and carry it in your wrist. And then you also have the tripod legs as well. So I'm gonna put this on, move all of this stuff out of the way. There's one other thing that gets sent with this gimbal as well, which I didn't expect, which is a very nice touch. It's this thing here. Let me go ahead and open this. Now, this is a rod uh, from a company called Per Gear. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can buy this gimbal from Per Gear as well. It's $89 and it's £89 on Amazon, so all of the relevant links. But this essentially is a selfie stick that you can attach to the actual gimbal. Now, that's very unique. You don't get this with a lot of gimbals, you have to buy this separately. So you see it has a sort of quarter inch screw there at the top that you connect to the bottom of the gimbal and I will showcase some examples of that as well. So these are all the things that come in the box. So what I'm going to do is give you guys an overview of the different features that come on this tiny little pocket gimbal. It is very lightweight, it's only 370 grams and it does have a payload of just 240 grams as well which will work for most smartphones. So let me go ahead and set this up and show you guys what this can do. Alright guys. Let's connect the tripod. Let's snap this open. There we go. And then you have to twist this. Now let me put my phone on top. Turn on the gimbal. There we have it. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the buttons and ports that come on the gimbal. Okay, so just on the right hand side. You have yourself the USB-C port, like I mentioned, it is USB-C charging, gives you eight hours of battery life. On the front, you have a few options. So you have the power on button there, you just hold that down for a few seconds to turn it on. You have a mode button, and then you have a shoot button for your pictures and videos. As usual, you'll have a joystick. This doubles up as a multi-function button as well to switch through the different modes, and I'll showcase that in a second. You have yourself the zoom control here, so wide and telephoto, and this is something unique. You don't really get this on a lot of smartphone gimbals, especially small ones of this size. This is the focus wheel, so you can adjust this and change the manual focus accordingly through the app, and I will run through the app in a second. One other thing that you can't see at the moment, let me just turn this off. So inside the smartphone mount, you can see there's a micro USB port right inside there. Now this allows you to charge your phone whilst in use, so if you have a USB-C Android phone, for example, you'll need to get a micro USB to a USB-C cable to charge it through that. All right, guys, so let's talk about this joystick here to change the different modes. So obviously you can use a joystick to change the direction of the actual gimbal as well, up, down, left, right, standard. Now, if you do press this, you can see on here, the mode will change. So you have an LED display there. PF is currently pan follow mode. If you press it once, you'll see it changes to F, which is full follow. You press it again, which goes to L, which is locks mode. And you press and one more time and it's POV, which is point of view. So it will follow you in any different direction that you move the gimbal. Now those are the single clicks. You double click 
it will recenter the gimbal, which I think is very convenient. If you triple click, you'll see that it goes into DM mode, which is basically inception mode, and the gimbal itself has started to move in an inception format. So if you are recording, then this will rotate the phone and give you that really cool inception mode. And once it's finished, it will go back to center mode itself, like so. So I think that's really convenient to get really quickly into inception mode if you find that opportunity. And the last thing is if you hold this down for a few seconds, you'll see it changes to go mode, but you'll have to hold it down. And this basically allows you to capture very fast transitions or quick movements in any direction. So if you're, for example, looking at some sports or maybe a football game, or if you're at a race car track, for example, you want to see cars go by really quickly, then this will allow you to record very quick transitions from left to right by holding this down. And this is called Mad Dog Mode, and it's displayed as Go. So once you let go, it goes back to the standard default mode you was on last, which would be Pan Follow in my case. So that's everything you can do with this joystick, and I think that's a really cool thing to have. There's also a lot of different modes that you can access through the app. Now, let me go ahead and talk to you through the different functionalities of that. Okay guys, so the app that you need to download is called AC Play. I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can download that. So it comes up, it connects to Smart XR, it will detect it, you click yes to connect, and there you are, you are connected. So let me quickly run through some of the different functionalities of the actual app. On the right hand side, you can cycle between the different modes. So it's on photo, you can move to video mode, time lapse mode, you have panorama, and you have something called smart shoot, which is basically a different types of really cool modes. Inception being the first one on the list. You move to the dolly zoom, which obviously you guys are aware of. And then the last one here is motion film, which allows the gimbal to pan in a nice, smooth and slow manner. And I'll be showcasing examples of each of these different modes as well. In panorama mode, you have the option to switch between 180, 330 degrees, 3x3 and 3x5. Photo, you have plenty of options here. On the left hand side there in the middle, you have the option to add beauty modes if you wanted to display people with a brighter skin or a smoother skin. But then you have tons of different filter options here, which I think is my favorite. These are the most extensive filter options I've seen on any gimbal app. Now there's a lot here that will be listed in Chinese, but by all means just go through them. So as you can see here, I think these ones are really cool. They really make the picture stand out. And I will be showcasing some examples of different filtered videos as well in my sample section later on in this video. So here's a whole bunch of things that I may use. And there's so many options I really can't pick which is the best one. But for me, it's the number one list of filters in any gimbal app. Video options, you can change here the resolutions as well. Now this records from 4K, 1080 or 720p up to a maximum of 30 frames per second. So you don't have the 60 frames per second on this. And then you also have time-lapse mode, which you guys are also aware of. And lastly, there's this thing here called a finger gesture. So if I select this, you have to give two fingers up like a peace sign and it will automatically take a video so you can do that on both video and photo let me do that for the photo mode quickly to show you an example the finger gesture is turned on I'm going to give it a gesture as you see it's detected it and you give it a five second countdown okay guys and the last thing is face tracking so all I need to do is turn on the face tracking and I have to select the face so I'm doing this in selfie mode as you can see it's picked it up so as I move left and right it's doing a very good job following me so if I go down and again I will be showcasing an example of this as well outdoors so it's a really cool thing to have those are the majority of the functionalities of the app I'm very happy so let's go ahead and showcase what this thing can do the last thing before I take this out is to show that this can switch to portrait mode so all you have to do is press the power button once and it will flip over to portrait mode like so see it's so easy it's very quick and convenient so I'm going to showcase some examples of shooting in landscape and in portrait as well just to give you guys a comparison so every mode that I've just talked about I'm going to showcase a whole load of samples of photos videos panoramas all of the cool smart features as well, like inception mode and dolly zoom, motion film lapse, all this kind of stuff 
it's going to be really cool i hope you guys enjoy it make sure to look at the chapters below if you want to skip to specific ones and uh, i'll give you guys a conclusion straight after
Alright guys, so there you have it. Now the amount of functionality that this smartphone gimbal comes with, the fact that it's so light, it's so compact, it's small, it has the types of features that you would expect in a DSLR or mirrorless gimbal stabilizer. Those large ones, those expensive ones, all packed into this tiny thing. I think it's just so awesome and uh, I'm going to be using this for a lot of my filming. I really like the ability of using this focus wheel for close-up subjects to just get the perfect image for it. I think there's so many things you can do with this. The fact that it's one click operation for a lot of the stuff is even more convenient. And I've had experience in the past with other gimbal apps which have just sometimes failed to connect, especially with Android phones. But this one was up and running straight away. It's very easy to connect and use the features. So for me, it's a big thumbs up and it's only £89, which I think is an absolute bargain for the things that you get with this. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I have tons more gimbal reviews coming out in the future. This one specifically, I'll have a link on where you can purchase that down below as well. Make sure you check that out. And if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. I've got a playlist of all my previous gimbal videos as well, so you can check those out. And I'm pretty sure you're going to like all the new gimbal reviews I'm going to be doing in the near future as well. So if there's anything else you'd like to know about this or if you'd like me to test out any other specific gimbals, again, drop a comment. I'm always appreciative of your support and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.